Hi, it's um, Ashley. Today is Tuesday, October 18th. It's been really hard getting any updates um, or anything, getting anything done. Um, my electric was shut off on September 26th. I haven't had hot water since. Well, let me see. It's up here someplace. Sorry. I have to have notes. It's a gift to ADHD. No hot water since 9-7. BGE had to come in here and check something and change something. And I knew when they'd come in, something would go wrong. So that's when I lost the hot water. Oh, man. Um... The electric being off has been really hard. It's hard to get updates. I have been applying for jobs. I haven't heard from, uh, what was it, Trader Joe's. I haven't heard from the ice cream shop. I haven't heard from William Sonoma. I would like to go in person to William and Sonoma. I know there's, you know, some places I could show up in person and possibly try to get a job. Um, but as of um, this weekend on the 15th, and access to my storage, public storage, has been denied. Three quarters of all my personal property is in there. Stuff that I'm selling and li have listed to sale for sale. My clothing, my winter clothing, personal documents, birth certificates, death certificates of my parents, my son, my wife. Financial information is in there. Client and patient files are in there that I'm required to keep for five years. My writing, Sydney's art, is in the public storage. Family heirlooms, Xfinity equipment, which they're charging me a hundred and some dollars for. All my prep, well, not all of it, but a good bit of my prep, emergency supply, rental tiny home stuff is in there. Um, my book library, half of it all of my music and just about all of the equipment um you know the records my kitchen stuff pet stuff you know i have been a customer of theirs for probably 10 uh, 10 years or more i had a, a unit when i was doing real estate and i could write it off because that's where i kept like staging supplies files and stuff like that and um when i had the flood here which State Farm did nothing, no repairs, nothing. I got, I was just so screwed and lost so much. Um, they did go to finally house us in like embassy suites, long-term uh, long stay, whatever. And that's when uh, the second Karen, Jane Barton, who happens to be a realtor, some ethics. First off, she shouldn't have been walking her dog off leash on private property or anywhere in Baltimore County for that matter. And then she lies and says, my dog went after her and they take my freaking dog. Well, let me say, when I walked in here the night and there was the flood, it was bad enough. They finally got us put up in a place and the day of that incident with Jane Barton, um, we had spent the night before here because the cats were still here. I had everything I needed up there. I had um, people help me. A couple of people helped me. Um, God. We spent the night here because I had food here. The cats were here. And the next day is when the incident with Karen occurred. Um, and that's what we had been doing. <clears throat> but I'll tell you. They got me a storage unit for like a month, maybe three. I don't know, but I've been paying for it since. Um, and uh, I was going to keep going. I was going to leave here then. I can't, I can't even get hired for a crappy job. This is why I'm looking for, I'm open to any kind of unique situation and all you people who are out there say, oh, they're hiring, they're hiring, they're hiring the 20 and 30 somethings. Nobody is looking for anybody over 50. Let's just say that. And uh, I really, it's my theory, 
that employers like the younger group, well, because they're younger, and they're all doing the quiet quitting, is the less they do on the job, the less it costs the employer. So think about that, you know. Um, and I would be thrilled. I, I can have fun working, you know, in, in a, the local sub shop. I'm actually a really good cook, but, you know, another thing I want to say when it comes to making referrals to, like, for insurance, for, you know, uh, storage, these places don't give a shit about you. They don't care. They don't care how long I've, you've been there as a customer. You know, for as long as I've been there, there should be a grace period to deny my, my, you know, they, they increase the the cost of the unit, and then for whatever reason, because again I have two. For whatever reason, when they did the increase, my bank stopped paying. My bank has been making the payments. That's another issue. They're about to stop that. Well, maybe they did. They changed the rate, or or I don't know what they did. I asked Public Storage to resubmit the payment. They didn't. I tried to make a payment that wasn't going to happen. Um, they haven't making the automatic payments. God, just, these companies don't care. Be it State Farm, Public Insurance, any of these health insurance. Um, uh, and you, you do best to, if you're making referrals, refer somebody in now. You know, it's like buying local. So, God, I, I, I'm just, it was pretty chilly this morning. And, and I need cash. I need cash desperately. Um, I actually have to look at my notes. It's, you know, my mouth has been so dry. I, I, I don't have the basics. I'm really grateful that I had three months emergency prep supplies because I went through them since this started. And, and trust me, you want to have some variation in your emergency food supply because you can only eat beans no matter how good they taste for so long. Um, there is a, I have the Venno um, card and that has actually been very handy because you can make payments at stores. You can request money from people. You can um, receive money, and it goes to you. And then you can put it in your bank. With the Zill, it goes right to my bank. I need to get about nine hundred dollars in there because I'm in the minus, about just under nine hundred right now. But I don't want to lose my checking account. Um, and I've been with them for decades. Jeez, since I was with my ex. Are you talking over thirty years? But um, I'm back to the tiny mobile home. I can't take this. Um, I need a place. I'm gonna need a place to winter over. If you've watched any of the earlier videos, you know what I. If I had, if I could just breathe for a minute and get myself so, stuff sold or given away, and I have taken to giving away a lot of my personal stuff because I'd rather give it to people who have supported me in some way even if it's a $10 bill, then to sell really valuable things and useful stuff for pennies on the dollar. I mean, if you've been feeding me, you know, I've got a few neighbors that have been very gracious. Oh, make me cry. I've had some people, I'll tell you, the only thing that's kept me going and keeping me trying is those of you who have supported me in some way. I don't want to let you down. And it's so hard having to do this. Um, and any of you out there who know me, try to think of when I've ever asked for anything. It's very hard for me. I've been working on that. Some of you know that. Um, you know, anyway, with the, this, that, Vimno card. 
I can access the cash. I can even pull it out. Um, but I, I, I did go through what I need. I'm going to put a link on, um, well, GoFundMe, YouTube, and I'm trying to get into my personal website. It's very hard to do all of that when you don't have internet. Um, I did get the mobile hotspot through Baltimore County. It's not as slow as going through my phone, that's for sure. Uh, and I am looking at notes up here. Um, my one cat who has kitty Alzheimer's needs to be put down. And I have to tell you, I'm really sensitive when people start talking about my pets. That, you know, Zella needs to be put down. Cody isn't going to last much longer. They're old. Um, Cody's actually a really good cat. And he loves dogs. Um... If I could go to the library, well, I could go to the library if I had gas in my car, so I need money for gas. I need money for my insurance. It was canceled. They reinstated it once, so now I'm late again. So I need to make a payment like today, or maybe looking for another insurance company. Um, my AAA is coming up due. And I've had AAA since I was 15 and a half. That is invaluable because they'll tow me 100 miles for free. Um, I do need to finish the repairs on the Jeep. I do need to get tires. Um, oh, God. Can't get it. And then, then if I go to the library, if I could get there, I, ha I don't have money to pay for parking because they have meters or the garage. And so I'm running in and running out. Um... So, my notes, it's just so, I, I live in the land of you cannot make this stuff up. It's crap on top of crap on top of crap. And it just, it doesn't seem to want to end ever. Come on. Okay. I need, need oh Lord. Then I, you know, when I had that fall, and that took a lot out of me. I cracked at least two teeth. I owe my dentist like 1500 bucks. <sighs> oh, Lord. I really need, you know, I keep coming to the same numbers. I really need like five grand. Look, I'd be happy. Yeah, let me see. So I had to come up with like, like this because not only what's due right now, but the first is right around the corner. So that includes that. Um, my mobile phone is needs to be paid. I've got prescriptions that I need to get and over-the-counter medications that I have not had. Um, the other thing, all my like my my lighting type stuff for emergencies from candles to um emergency supplies for light flashlights not the batteries are in 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 that unit oh god i am going to also put a wish list um up on those websites as well um, food, I need cash in hand. There's, there's some things when it comes to food that I haven't had butter in probably pushing two months. Every now and then it might be nice to have some butter on your toast. I cook with olive oil. I don't use olive oil for everything. I do have a five-day cooler that's been pretty good. So as long as I can pay for ice, but don't have to be able to go get ice. I need to get out of this neighborhood. You know, I am starting to take the puppy and walk a little bit further. I got a neighbor who has her puppy who I go out with a lot. I don't trust these Karens around here because, you know, and I have to tell you, the federal retirement program is looking better and better. It, 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 it's, it's hard to find a downside to it about now. And to the Karens out there and you people who like to dick around with other people, 
again, and this is probably the last time I'm going to say this, before you, somebody, ask yourself, does this person have anything to lose? Because if they don't, you're a fool. Your, your time's coming. Parker was all I had. He was all I had. Can you only read? Well, the second, there's two reasons I'm still going and trying to do the right things today. Because that dog is alive. And I want him back. And I don't want to let those of you who have supported me down. I don't want you to think you've wasted your time. And my one new friend who lives in the area, her and her wife have been so, so sweet. Her The, the one was in, and I can't I don't really give their names without their permissions, one was in the hospital and the next, and she came home and, and her wife, Spent the day with me, helping me. Um, I got forms after spending two about two hours on the phone with Maryland Benefits, the fourth attempt at trying to get any social services just this year. I started trying to get services before. And also remember, I saw zero when it came to any kind of federal stimulus money. And when I got laid off, it took me 10 months to get my um, unemployment. I saw no federal stimulus money in it. any of that. Not a, not a dime. And I would not be in this position if somebody who's concerned about what I might be doing in my bedroom didn't deny my surviving spouse benefits. No. Look at me. Okay? It could be you. It could be your wife. It could be your grandmother, your sister, your daughter, your friend, your aunt, your, like I said, your spouse. I could be them. Sydney and I worked our entire lives and paid into Social Security. Either one of us would be entitled to the surviving spouse benefits. We have two affidavits of domestic partnership. The first one goes back to 2005 when we bought this house. The second one we got in 2009, and then we did the traditional marriage thing just to do right the day before she died. But just like if you are a heterosexual couple and you get married and then maybe 20 years later you decide to renew your vows, it does not negate the fact that you were married 20 years ago. That's the same with the affidavit. Try to look past your nose. You know, I know it's hard for people to see from different perspectives a particular situation because of the way you've been trained and brought up, the enculturation. It's hard to see past our noses sometimes. But when you look for excuses and reasons why I'm not entitled to these benefits, it's what we refer to as heterocentric and that you really believe that I do not deserve those benefits. Look up heterocentric. Maybe that'll start opening things up. So I am going to revamp this um, fundraiser. You know, I need a couple of grand right now to pay the insurance, the storage, which I just, which I'm just freaked about. And I'm sorry for the dry mouth. I've been wondering why is my mouth dry? Why am I shaky? And then I realized, oh, it's fight or flight. I can't take it. God, I'm out of coffee. I haven't had a Red Bull in days. The yellow tropical kind. I probably drink less of that than y'all drink coffee in a day. And it's not, it, it, it's the least of the bad sport drinks for you. And I have ADHD, okay. People with ADHD, our brains need sugar. Okay, we respond differently to sugar than people who don't have ADHD. We cannot think without it. Actually, in the supplemental videos on my emergency go fun YouTube playlist, um, 
that there is a link to. There, there, it's a long video, but the, there's a prominent researcher who talks about how ADHD people need sugar. And I'll tell you what, there's very little I wouldn't do for half a dozen, or a dozen, 12 ounce yellow tropical Red Bull at this moment, and a Reese's bar, and then some semi-sweet baking morsels. I haven't had chocolate in so long. Um, and I need it to top of my food pyramid. Oh, I don't even want to tell you how long it's been since I've had a shower. Thank God I mastered the horror bath decades ago. <clears throat> but I need... Yeah, that's it's it's almost a thousand dollars for storage at the moment. Okay, so and then AAA. Um, so that then with my insurance insurance, um twelve is it thirteen fourteen hundred. I need gas in my tank. Um say fifteen hundred. My my registration and admissions is due. Um 17 then another nine for my almost 890 for my bank which is 20. it's 2600 my mobile phone is overdue 27 2800 um lost my internet i need to get so i'm looking into stuff at, like a mobile internet type service that's 28 um And my auto repairs bring about thirty, say four grand. So yeah, the five I need about five grand, and that's not including my teeth and stuff. Um, I do want to um get a different vehicle or fix up my rig out my vehicle. I can't do it by myself. I need help. Um, I just want. A little bit about me real quick um you know i have no criminal record and it pisses me off when people are surprised about that because of my past um i have no driving record um zero points zero preventable accidents never been pulled over for any kind of violation um i'm not abusing any substances my doctor could uh, attest for that. And if I were to be abusing anything, it would not be pills. So let's not worry there. I actually had to pat myself on the back because about 10 months ago, I realized, you know, after Sid's death and them taking Parker, all the crap that's happened, I have not had one craving. Even with my ADHD being out of whack, I have not had a craving to use. And I did a lot of hard work, personal work. To get to that point um yeah i'm a woman with a past and i own it okay there's a lot you can say about me and i will live up to every single thing that is true or correct you when you're wrong um i've always been true to self and people don't like that because then they have to think about what they've compromised personally um and that's not my fault, okay? Um, there's a lot you can say about me, and I will live up to the true stuff. Um, I have always maintained my personal integrity and ethics, and you know, I will never apologize for anything that I've ever had to do to survive. And I tell you, you know, you take away people's options. Like, like I'm out of legal options. I'm out of them. I'm holding on, man, barely. Um, you know, I take responsibility for my own happiness, my own success. You will never, no one, there's, I, I'd, I'd like to meet the person who has ever heard me crying or complaining or blaming my parents, my past or, or my caretakers for my life in any way. Oh, I mean, yes, they may be related to certain triggers and trauma, yeah.
but I take the responsibility. I don't use it as an excuse to not grow as a person and to not help others. Um, despite the abuses and neglect of whatever I may have suffered, I rose above that and you can muster it up. Yeah, and you'd be very hard pressed to find anybody, anybody who could ever say that I was a proven liar or a thief. Thief part might change soon. Yeah, you know, I've always been a, um, a champion of the underdog. My house was always a safe place for anybody, but especially women um, over the years. And, and to, to give you an idea of how safe it was for them, you know, club owners from the strip bars on the block would send their daughters to stay with me when they were having baby daddy problems or, or other domestic violence issues because they knew they would be safe at my house. You know, I help others freely. You know, I give what I can through work, through my volunteer work. I live with the motto of no day is complete unless you've done at least one good deed. And I have to say, even during this, I have stopped to help other people more than you might realize. And I'm... You know, I've been known as the queen of perseverance. I'm always in a forward motion, learning and growing, no matter how painful that might be. You know, I have a lot of skills. Um, I'm gonna probably do another, I'm gonna probably do another video because this is kind of long, but I desperately need cash. Um, that Vimno card. Stop buying gifts to me. I can't leave the house because I don't have enough gas. Um, and I do need to get some food supplies. Um, the same person who helped me complete those forms for services through social services took me and registered me. Is a really good resource locally, ACTC. They give really good food. I have to tell you, the government food that is given out in different locations is really crap. I mean, their vegetables are horrible. I mean, no matter what, I've always had a, a good diet. Um, but the ACTC, I got registered there. You can appoint or, or sign like one or at least one, maybe two people to go pick your stuff up. And man, was she a lifesaver. She got there like two minutes before they closed on Friday because I can't keep track of the days apparently and she got me food and they have fresh fruits and vegetables i'm dying for fruit i'm dying for vegetables man it's hard to eat also because of my tooth i haven't had a piece of red meat in god knows how long oh man longer than it's been since i've had a shower which i have way surpassed my record but you know if you could please give um uh, I, um, or at least maybe say a couple of words and, and share this. And somebody has said that they can't bear to look at it. They didn't want to look. They asked me, how am I doing? And then, you know, I tell them it's all in the updates. Oh, I don't want to look at it. It's too sad. What the fuck is that? Too sad. Then don't ask me how I'm doing. You know, I'm a fiercely loyal person to my friends. I also don't want to end friendships. It's a two-way street. But I don't forget when people are kind, ever. So, and then I'm going to go. I'm going to add some other videos. I really need some cash. And I appreciate you for watching, and I even more appreciate it for sharing. Um, thank you. Bye.